Hello everybody and welcome back to Original Dungeon Part 10. We are in double digits, boys. How are you feeling about that? Terrified. Has it been 10 already? <laughs> yeah, it's part 10. It has been. Technically part 11 if you include the holiday special. Would you oh, really? include the Christmas special in the Star Wars universe, though? Yes. No, you would. Absolutely, of. yes. <laughs> it's canon. <laughs> I gotta say, though, honestly, I think we're doing pretty well. We've yeah. only had one of us go down, mm. and and they didn't die. We've had no yep. deaths and only one And by person they, you mean you, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right, uh, so uh, the last time uh, they... Uh, the party is in the Ravenloft Moors, the swamps, uh, just taken down a whole group of lizard folk and three giant crocodiles. Uh, at the very end, Black Dragon showed up and chomped the vampire spellcaster in a one bite to dust. Uh, and now you guys are face to face with an adult Black Dragon that is just staring you down. Uh, it stares at you uh, after the dust flies away from the vampire and just says, my, my, so much violence in my territory today, and no one invited me to play for shame. I'm going to just try to speak to it in Draconic. Greeting, oh, mighty one. Uh, we do not come here to quarrel with you. We came here on a whim. We saved your child. We request safe passage, and we are prepared to pay for it if need be. What say you? Save my child. You reek of my egg. Your body was all over it. Yes, we pushed it back into the lake. Those but who pulled it out in the first out. place? Those lizard fucking things. Do not lie to me. <laughs> okay. I mean, it is what it is. I pulled it out <laughs> with the intention of protecting it from the lizard folk who were already in the area. I'm saying that through Dan. He's translated it for me. <laughs> He's just translated it. <laughs> <laughs> I and I did my damnness to protect <laughs> that egg. I uh, care uh, not uh, what you um, say. He, Anybody he... who lays a hand on my egg dies. Well, I think we only have one recourse of action. Eric? Wait. <laughs> Did you just say no. that? Did you just say that out no, loud? No, no, I think no, you did. No, no, no. I think you were in character when you said that. No, that was, no, that was me doing an impression of Mortal Kombat. So basically, <laughs> I'm going to just be all like, <laughs> hey. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Jansen. <laughs> Throw it to you. <laughs> Dance off, bro. You and me. <laughs> After you say that, the dragon just says, how about I just eat you? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Roll for initiative, everybody. Just roll. <laughs> charm. Ooh. 17. All there was right. no way I was going to be able to charm it. <laughs> 17 plus that is a... I've got a new dice rolling tray, and it's massive. Dan, you said 15? Uh, yes, sir. Ooh, Dan, you nice. said 17? 17, yeah. yeah. Uh, Steve? It means I can give it a good... 10, you said? You know? <laughs> yeah. I'm using yeah. a... Uh, uh, oh, John! A TV tray. <laughs> That's what this is. I've just painted Mine it. Doesn't have that, uh, it doesn't have the felt. <laughs> I have a little... Yeah. Uh, Ooh, a nice Amazon little leather purchase. thing. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. All right, so okay. um, old John actually got the fastest initiative, oh, nice. despite him having the Ooh, lowest shmoop. dexterity out of anybody here. <laughs> Damn. He before anything uh, can happen, he he walk he go is he spends his movement going over to uh, to Oman and says, "We need to be careful. This thing is very scary." And he lays his hands on your shoulders and casts the spell uh, Lay on Hands, uh, healing 80 hit points from you. Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> not. <laughs> Sorry, not 80, 100. 100 hit points. I forget he's a he's a that, oh, wow. he's at that level paladin. Wait, does he does, 
Giving us a hundred hit points. Giving or Dan a hundred hit points. Or healing Dan a hundred hit points. Yeah. No, is it, it just healing or does that give me temper? No, it, it's just healing. Okay. Okay. That's cool. All right. Oh, thank you. All right. So Let's do this. then it is the dragon's turn. Uh, it does not waste any time and goes into the air and spends its entire movement going in a circling formation. So now it is over a hundred feet away from you circling back, but that's all its turn is. Uh, so then it goes to Luke. Okay, um, well, I have a feeling it's coming back and it's going to come back pretty fast with something pretty hot in the area. So, um, I'm going to turn around and I am going to, uh, I'm going to conjure animals and I'm going to use, uh, and no, I'm going to use it as a bugger. <laughs> I'm going to use it as a fifth level spell, which means. I can do um, the twice as many. Okay. And I'm going to do the same. I'm going to do... Uh, what, what was it I wanted to... I, I had it ready. I had it ready what I wanted to do. Um, one second. <clears throat> Where is it? I had it up with exactly what I wanted. Sorry guys, give me give me two seconds, okay? <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> All right, where is it, the bastards? It's a shame because I have a level six spell called Otto's Irresistible Dance. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> what does that do? Uh, choose one creature that you can see within range. The target begins a comic dance in place, shuffling, tapping its feet, <laughs> and capering for the duration. Creature that can't be charmed are immune to this spell, though. So you could still use that and just drop its ass out of the sky. <laughs> oh, really? What's the range on it? Sounds like it. Um. Oh no, fifty feet. Okay. So the when it gets closer, game. though, I mean, you could. Yeah. <laughs> Death, baby. Oh, oh, I don't want a meta game, but I have an idea. Uh, <laughs> all right, I want two flying levels, and I was gonna do polar bear, but that's not a good idea. Steve. I need... Fuck, fuck, Mark. I'm mad at him for not letting you charm him. You can hold that spell as an action, so when it gets within that range, you can cast it immediately, even during its attack. Ooh. <laughs> fuck you, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're gonna meta game like that. I got some stuff ready for you. <laughs> That's for not there letting him charge. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I'm gonna all of its movement. It has disadvantage on dexterity saving throws mm. and attack rolls. All right, I'm gonna pull. Ooh, Ooh on attack rolls. That's amazing. Looks like I found my level six spell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna spawn two Pegasus. Pegasus? Pegasi? How do you say it? Pegasi. Are we gonna ride flying unicorns to fight a dragon? <laughs> There's two of them. Alright. two of them. Alright, I got their stuff up. So we got Pegasus 1, Pegasus 2 joining the fray. Their HP is 59. Alright. Um. Yeah, basically, I'm just going to have them go up and head toward. I'm telling them to head towards the dragon oh. and attack it before... Oh. What? Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, hold on. What did you say you were doing? Have them head I towards mean... the dragon, like, between us. Between us. All right. Okay, what's the um, problem with that? Well, the problem is their fly speed's only 90, and it, they're 100, uh, the dragon's 100 feet away, so they'd have to spend their action just moving toward the dragon. Well, in that case, uh, <laughs> I'll have them just hover like in front of us. They, they, they're not going to go and attack. They can't attack. And they're, they're never going <laughs> to get to it. So they I'm wouldn't just, be able to. I'm going to have them. I'm going to have them kind of like just to the left and right of us, but like like out to the sides, but just ahead of us so that they can <clears throat> attack from the sides when the dragon comes in. Okay. Okay. And then um, in that case, I'm going to move back behind both. Old man and Eric, so I can buff them. All right, that's my turn. All right, then it goes to Dan. 
here we go. All right. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stay there. And I'm going to ready an attack. I'm just going to ready my Naginata for a slice as soon as I'm able to make a swing accurately with it. Okay. So as soon as the dragon is in my range, I'm going to take a swing at it. Sounds good. All right. And then Stee. There's not really much I can do at the minute. Uh... <clears throat> oh, I gotta start prepping mm. old John's next. Just week. prep. That's all you can do, really, isn't it? Yeah. Again, yeah. like we haven't done it this whole series, but you can hold stuff for certain conditions. But if that condition isn't met by the start of your next turn, whatever you were readying fizzles out, and you lose that spell slot. So, say if you ready, if the dragon attacks me and it attracts attacks someone else instead, you lose that spell. Ooh, I have the perfect thing for old John to do on the next thing. Sorry, I, I was I not paying attention for a second. Um, see, what were you doing? I'm sorry. He's still uh, Yeah. Oh, okay. <clears throat> this is going to be... Let me think. Where are you? Let me figure out what this does. <laughs> oh no, I can't do it. <clears throat> uh, do you have my genie though? You can always it's use more allies. Uh, you already used it today. Oh, you that's right. In one day? It, it's oh god, yeah. It, it's the same day, yeah. I don't think you ever dispelled it though. Did you dispel it? I don't think you did. So it could it's... still be there. Oh yeah. And it's, uh, it, we said it was an air elemental, yes? Yeah. Ooh, what can I, what can I? Uh, I'm looking up his stuff right now for you. Uh, I'm actually gonna write that down in the initiative, too. Uh, <coughs> I'm dreading this dragon having to go right now. Air <laughs> elemental is... I don't think it's gonna be that bad. 90 hit points. I really That's don't. That's not bad at all. Uh, let's see, it is a... Famous last words there, Dan. Dude, I'm not gonna. There's a lot of my kit that I haven't been using. Um, I can be a much more defensive character if I need to be, um, to the point where it's almost impossible to actually land a good attack on me. So it doesn't have anything well, that could. Well, being um... a dragon, it can probably still smack me down, but you know what I mean. Right. Ooh. Uh, nothing that it could do right now, damage. Steve. But it does have an ability called Air Form. It can enter a hostile creature's space and stop there. It can move through a space as narrow as one inch wide without squeezing so you could use its movement speed to get the air elemental directly by behind it for an attack of opportunity when it's in range yeah that sounds good yeah. you have to you'll have to like i'm helping you, you out like... why am i helping you? <laughs> <laughs> okay Dude, yes. to be fair I, we I are still new that. players like we do yeah. we do require some help that's some okay strategy sometimes all right so uh we'll kick our ass on the next campaign all right so we uh we entering the next round yeah. All right. So mm -hmm. old John uh, gets uh, uh, everybody together and says, be brave, boys, and casts uh, the spell Aura of Courage, which means all of you are now immune to fright. Oh, nice. Wow. Wow. So old. Ooh, my God. And as, I love having a paladin. As the last part of his action, he draws his giant greatsword and holds it dark edge towards the dragon and just sits there waiting. <laughs> Ooh. Quick question. I Quick feel question, yes, Matt. Fine. Yes. Just for uh, law reasons and for size wise, just so I can get a grasp of how big this thing is. Yep. Is it an ancient black dragon no. or just an adult black it's dragon? It's an adult black dragon. It's not like, okay, 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 okay. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. All right. So the dragon finishes its circle and begins to move back towards you guys. When it gets to within 60 feet of you, it opens its maw and unleashes its first tote of acid breath at you guys. 60 foot line in a 5 foot cone. And let's see, what's the save for that? Everybody make a dexterity saving throw. And oh uh, Steve, you'll have to roll for, roll for the yes. air elemental, and Luke, you'll have to roll for your pegasi yep. as well. Okay, okay. Uh, just so you know, I do have evasion. 
So e uh, if I fail this, I take half damage, and if I succeed, I just straight don't take damage. Okay. Just as a heads up for the future. Okay. Uh, it's it's really only on deck saves, though. Yeah. It's, just... it's our roll plus side deck. Yeah, uh, it's plus your side deck. Yeah, plus your dexterity modifier. I rolled a I got a twenty-one. Okay. Oh. You died up there in the twenties. Was it good enough, though? Is the big question. That still yeah. might not be enough. Yeah. <laughs> no. I rolled a twenty. No, I'm not 20, though. Okay. For me. And Dan? Really 19. Yeah. Uh, 23. 23? Okay. Uh, the Pegasi and the Air element, Elemental now. Are they in Are they in range, being out on the sides? Yes. Or... Okay. I rolled a 19 for the Air Elemental. Okay. Okay, 19 plus... That's 21. Ooh, good rolls. And... Oh, oh. Oh, that uh, one for one of them. Okay. No! So, Dan, you're not taking any damage. Um, and the rest of you are taking half damage, except for that poor one Pegasus. However, okay. even with half damage, it's 12 D8s of damage. <laughs> Wait, what? Hold on. Are you sure? Well, no, the full damage would be 12d8, so you're taking half of that, oh, but the okay. pe the one Pegasus is, is taking the full 12. Oh, oh my okay. god, I thought I you were saying the half. My heart Sorry, no. I thought it's everyone in the realm was just dead so I have to roll 6d8. No, I'm rolling for the damage. Oh, okay. You're rolling them. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god. 16, oh, that's that Pegasus dead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It has 59 hit points, so... I mean, he could theoretically roll a bunch of ones and twos, and you could get out somewhat clean, but right. statistically go, speaking. Like yeah, the chances of that. So yeah. the one Pegasus that's taking full damage takes 72, and everybody yeah. else takes 36. Oh. Except for oh, Dan. Like... He doesn't take anything, because he has evasion. <laughs> Holy crap. All right. And wow. he and the dra after that the dragon stays at a 60 foot range after unleashing that blast and he yells to you you meager mortals cannot begin to comprehend my might I am Rizetsu lord of the moors and last of the black dragons You a bitch <laughs> <laughs> All right and then that is going to go to uh Luke Okay, um, so I've only got the one up now, and I, um, yeah, let's one, let's one let's have him attack first. Let's get him out of the way before I decide what I want to do. Okay, sorry, go ahead. So we're gonna have the Pegasus attack the dragon. Okay, the one Pegasus that's still alive. Um, All right, it's a plus six to hit, so. Come on, so we're good. That is not gonna hit. That's a seven. That does not hit. Does not hit. Let him okay. Uh, oh, <laughs> guys, I've had I've had so many good looks in these videos so far. I feel like today's the day when it's just all gonna bite me in the ass. <laughs> okay. 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 In that case. I'm gonna go invisible. Okay. I'm gonna do. Um, in fact, in fact, <sighs> I kind of want to get old John or old man the ability to get closer without being seen. I mean, the dragon's in the air still. He would have had to ride the Pegasus. I guess so it doesn't really matter, does it? To be honest with you, nope, he's still. I think this dragon's away. gonna have to come and attack us at some point, right? And it in can't use case, its then... acid breath again for five rounds. So, in oh, case, I, we did good. not know that. That is yeah. some really good info. That's good. You're welcome. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I'm gonna use mass cure wounds on everyone. I can Great use it to six people. So I'm gonna use that on um, all of the party, basically. Yeah. Including the Pegasus. Uh, 60 yes. 60 feet range. Yep, it'll count. Okay. It's on uh, the very, very edge of the range. So. 
Okay. So it's 3D and that plus is your spellcasting ability modifier. My uh, wisdom, which is 4, so yep. 3D8. Let's have a Come on, come on, come on. Uh, that's a 1. Oh. Uh, that's a 7. Okay, so 8. Okay. And that's a 7. Okay. So 15 plus so your wisdom. Good. Which is four, so that's nineteen. Everyone 19, gets nineteen, 19. plus back. That's more than half the damage. That's so, pretty good. Pegasus yep. is back up to fifty-three, and the air elemental is back up to seventy-one. Nice. 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 Thanks. <laughs> um, and then I guess um, <laughs> what's around me? What's around me? Water. <laughs> Water. <laughs> Water. A little ways up the road past the dragon is a group of trees, probably like a hundred feet long. Um, but on the other side is still more marshes. What do you say, guys? I think it's worth trying to make our way to the trees. I say we make a stand. Nothing will stop a black dragon from hunting us down. There's no hiding. There's no running. If we can kill it, we'll be okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to end my turn there. Okay, uh, that and goes then. to Dan then. Yes, I need... Uh, I'm going to try to spread out a little bit from the crowd, um, just so we don't get AoE'd again, because mm -hmm. Oman has no idea that it's not going to happen again. Um, so I'm going to get just far enough to where we're not like all stacked in one area. Are you moving forward and, uh, or backwards or into the water on the sides? Uh, forwards, let's do Okay. Put a little bit of pressure on that dragon. Seem like I'm trying to get away. Um, and then I'm going to ready an attack with the Naginata for as soon as that thing gets close enough to me that I can hit it. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, that would be Steve's turn now. So it's 60 feet in front of us, isn't it? Yes. <clears throat> I will... Oh, God. Uh, I got this within six... Well, I got my crossbow. I can't really use Thunder Wave, can I? What's the range on Thunder Wave again? I have the card here somewhere. Yeah, I think. Uh, Thunder Wave. No, it's uh, it's a 15 foot cube oh. uh, that originates from you. Uh, hold on a minute. Okay. Hold on. A wave of the Thunder Wave Force sweeps out from. Okay, so it starts at you and goes out into a 15 foot cube. Okay. So it's like you push um, it out from your body. Okay. I may just have to use my crossbow then. Okay. I mean, Cloud of Daggers could probably hit, right? Uh, possibly. Oh, Let yeah. me see the range on Cloud of Daggers real quick. Yeah, that's guaranteed damage. Mm. So I think you've used it from farther than 60 feet at one point. I think it's like 120 feet or something. It is dispel magic. It's 20. sixty feet, so it's it, the dragon is in reach. Ooh, just enough. Okay, yeah, I might as well use uh, cloud of daggers. Okay, and I shall use it. For right, the let me see, cloud of daggers. Let me just make sure I've got everything right for this. Yep. Okay, so. I'll use it at level five. Okay, so that's going to be um, another four d four. So it is eight d four of damage. Eight d four. Okay, cool. Oh wait, no. Uh, could you not technically cast it as a six level with that new? It. I will do. But my, yeah, my six level. I'm going to save for that dance to try and get it out of the sky. Right, but you have the um how does that thing work mark so you would have to use that spell slot like you could use that cloud of daggers as your six level spell mm -hmm. he only has one six level spell slot per day right now yeah so i can if i use it no, level i'm, five, I'm talking about like the um like the 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 new like instrument he got for the the holiday thing that like it it, it knocks it what oh that's right um yeah yeah That would, um... Oh, God, yeah. yeah. Oh, so yeah. technically, yeah, you could. he could use the dance as a fifth level spell and use this, 
use the cloud of daggers and use his six level spell slot to do max damage. So that's that's right. Ten d four of damage. So nine d four of damage, huh? That's awesome. Slap the base. All right. <laughs> Slap the base. Uh, <laughs> All right, so it'll take damage twice from that. Once when you cast it, and once when it enters its turn. So go ahead and roll, shit, roll big. damage on that. Roll big. Roll big. So that is. Any day now. <laughs> it's, it's ten d four. He, he oh, I didn't look up to see if there was. A, I don't think there's a save for this. No, I think anytime it's been used, it's just like damage just yeah, happens. I don't. Yeah, I think it's because it's it's an instant conjure, so I don't think there was a save for it. Twenty three. Yeah, there is no, twenty three <laughs> damage. Nice. Yeah. It's right. quite hard to pick several of these up at the same time because they're all triangles, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and you're like. <laughs> all right. So you got that, uh, and then that is your turn. Yes. I have two attacks. Oh, that's right. Yep, you, you could. Uh... Could use my crossbow. You want to go for it? Do it. Yeah. Do it. And that is. Let me get this. Please. Sniper. 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 Oh, he missed. <laughs> he missed. He's super missed. And and that six plus dexterity, which is two. Yeah. Doesn't even plus come. Efficiency. Doesn't even come close. It bounces off one of the scales. <laughs> At least you hit it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, what's old John gonna do now? He's made you guys immune to fright, and he doesn't have anything ranged, unfortunately. Um. Oh, okay. So, uh, you guys notice that uh, old John starts emitting like a bright aura from himself. He casts Aura of Protection. So while you guys are within 30 feet of him, if you have to make any saving throws, you have advantage now. Nice. Oh my God. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right. That's awesome. And now the dragon sees this meager little horse in front of him with wings. And it's going to, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Um, Dinner. Yeah, I was going to say. Uh, it's gonna. What, about my, um... what size is the Pegasus? Is it a medium creature or is it large? A large. Okay, so it can't be eaten by the dragon in one bite, unfortunately. Okay. Darn. However, it it's still gonna use the its uh, multi attack. Uh, it gets to attack three times. Wait, uh, Steve, what were you saying? Also, my genie. I forgot about my genie. Oh, that's oh. right. Yeah, it's still not uh, still not in over. range. Actually, no, it is in range with the flight, I think. Yeah, it has 90 fly speed, so yeah, it is in range of that. All right. Uh... All right. Well, it's still going to chomp on the Pegasus. <laughs> All right. And it only has 12 armor class, so... Yeah, and it gets a plus oh, 11 yeah, to dead. hit, so unless it rolls a nat <laughs> 1, it's going to hit. <laughs> Okay. Oh! No way. Are you serious? No way. Oh. It's, oh, it's it's super dead. Oh. <laughs> so, um, you know how I said it couldn't be eaten? <laughs> Despite it being a live creature. Go. <laughs> um, yeah, so hold on a second. So that's 26 doubled is 52. So, it, yeah, it brings it down to one hit point with the bite and then the acid from its teeth deals another d8 killing it in, like instantly <laughs> holy shit oh. wait did you say it takes more damage from the the blades uh yes uh, i mishear that yep yeah, sorry no 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 you were completely correct so steve roll roll the uh the 94 uh again <laughs> what again <laughs> the, do you mean the the 10 d4 yeah sorry the 10 d4 <laughs> <The> 10 d4 <laughs> I can just imagine, like, <laughs> you. <laughs> I'm just thinking of Steve's character just, like, actually doing a little slap bass riff, and then a dragon <laughs> just starts getting cut up out of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> the magic of yeah. <laughs> 22. 22. All oh, right. 
All right. So the, it still has yeah. it still has two attacks and its movement. So here we go. It chomps the Pegasus out of the sky, and then sees <laughs> the Dragonborn on the road right in front of him. Just immediately dives down and goes for a claw attack on Dan. Ooh, I'm gonna get to strike though. Yep, with your uh, Sentinel proc, right? No, this isn't even Sentinel. This is uh, the attack that I read. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yep. Because yeah. uh, now I do have a question. Yeah. Since I read it in attack, does that also mean like it's essentially like my attack turn, so I can use like attacks, unarmed it'll... strikes, extra attack? No, like, it'll be a, it, it's a it's a single attack, kind of like single how attack. Sentinel okay. will work. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, you'll use you'll use, use like your full like your full like rolls and everything for it. So like you'll get your like all your bonuses and stuff. Yes, swing with the Naginata. <gasps> yo, yo! Did you roll the nat twenty? <laughs> nat twenty. So Finally! all right. Wait, no, no, no. <laughs> and the Naginata. Because this prox, just so you know, this prox Vorpal. Yeah. So this, I'm gonna. Send picture proof, just so you know that I'm not bullshitting you or anything. Don't, don't, I, 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 it's fine. Don't worry about it. I believe you. Okay. What does this do? What does this do? So on this top of the me... damage that it's going to do, this thing's going to take an extra 6d8 of damage because of the Vorpal effect. <laughs> and that's on top of the normal damage. Holy shit. Oh my god. Man, you hit it good. Yeah. You hit good. Yeah, I didn't think this was- oh my god. This is the first time Vorpal's procced and it's against a fucking dragon. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so nice. that's a max roll. Um, oh, wait, no, just so it's the crit damage anyway, so it's yeah. the max roll. So that's 8, 12, 13. So it's 26 damage before the additive. Okay, and then 68 and then is a Vorpal. 68, so that's 2, 7, 6, so 15 and... Uh, 4, 4, 1. What did I say it was, the first three? 15, 15? yeah. 15, so 24 extra damage. Nice, nice hit. How Very how nice that hit. That was like, uh, that what was, was that, 26, That was 50, 50 damage total. 50 damage in one go? All right. Holy crap. It, it is enraged and continues with its claw attack on you. Uh, rolling uh, 29 to AC. <laughs> yeah, that is. <laughs> All right, so that's two... D6 plus 6. So oh, wait. Can I use a bonus action on a reaction? Well, no, because that's not a reaction. Right. Can I use a bonus action when I've readied an attack for future reference? I'm not going to say that I did now. No, I don't think so. Okay. So that is going to be 13 damage from the claw. That's not bad. Okay. Yep. And then uh, its final attack is going to be with its tail as it, uh, it speeds by you. That is going to be a... Uh, a 22 to your AC? That still hit. This is on me, right? Yes. Okay, yes, that definitely hits. Okay, and then that is going to be 2d8 plus 6 bludgeoning. So, 6 to 8. Oh, that's, that's not an 8d8 mark. There we go. So, 13 and 6. So, 19 more damage. That, that hurt. Yep. And the way that it's now doing it, like it was coming straight at you, hit with the claw and the tail on the way back, and it's heading straight towards the group afterwards. Ooh, that will mean that I get to proc Sentinel then, because readying is not a yeah. reaction. So, uh, so we get to smack him. Yep, so go ahead and smack him real quick. Uh, so this would be with the Naginata. Does that mean that I can also... Roll Vorpal on you this? You could proc Vorpal on that if it's with the Naginata, yes. There's no way, but... Uh, oh, no, that doesn't even come close to hitting. No. No, no fucking way. Natural four. No. Okay, yeah. No. <laughs> no. Okay, uh, then, uh, Luke, it is your turn, good sir. Wait, does my okay. genie get an attack? Hmm? My genie? It, it will during your, your, your next turn. Like, your current okay, turn. Cool. Yeah, in the current combat. Okay, so, um... So, my Bran just attack. sees uh, a huge gaping gash in this dragon, but also that the dragon just smacked Oman a little bit with its claws and tail and is now heading straight for you guys. Okay, um... Where... What's the, um... 
what's the the battlefield actually look like? Who's in front of me? So, uh, in front of you, uh, you and Stee are in the air, air, air elemental are like side by side on the road, and then Oman is in front of you guys. Did you do your full movement speed when you move forward? No, no, no. It was just like far enough to where we weren't like all really cluttered, so probably. Like 20 Probably feet, like 30, 40 30. feet. Okay. 20, so 30, 30, somewhere around. Okay, so we'll in, say in between Oman and you is the dragon. It's like flying, like almost touching the ground, coming full speed at you guys. Okay, what about old John? Where's he? Uh, he's uh, right behind you after casting all the, uh, like the, the auras. Okay. Uh, well, fuck this dragon coming at us. Um... Use it as one last one. I don't know whether I should. I'm just gonna try and put up a wall of fire right between, right in front of us, so that when it does fly into us, it's the. My guy. Fire. Don't do it's it. A dragon. It doesn't matter. It's a dragon. A black dragon. Don't do it. It's a dragon. It doesn't care. Yeah, but I mean, it might do some damage, right? <laughs> do it, do it. <laughs> do it, do it, do it. Send it. No, no, because that's the no, because then that it, it I'm just, not saying it. It just separate us. Also trap me. <laughs> yeah, it would just separate us. I'm trying to do something, guys. <laughs> Dragon coming at me. I'm a druid, for God's sake. <laughs> um. Okay. Well, in that case, then. Oh, uh, I. Is there any insects around me? Uh, it's a swamp, so I would imagine. Oh, okay. How about, um... Mosquitoes. Mosquitoes? Centip no, it can only be centip centipedes, spiders, wasps, or scorpions. No. None of them? No. Yeah, right. Well, I might just make some more animals, and I might subconscious some more animals. <laughs> the last two were very effective. <laughs> everything else is, like, everything else is, is all about, like, protecting us, you know? Oh, it sounds like a good idea with a black dragon well, rushing you no, back. No, no, not protecting us, but healing us. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, right, yeah. right. Yeah. So, there's not much I can do until after we get damage, which really sucks. <laughs> <laughs> so, in that case, I'm going to conjure some more animals. And instead of doing a level two, two level twos, I'm going to do three level ones. Okay. Uh, challenge rating one. And I am going to do... Uh, that's pants. Um, <laughs> where the fuck's it gone? Oh no, that's level two. God damn it. Um, actually, yeah, I'll, I'll do two level twos again then, actually. Okay. Um, just because practically non existent. Um, and I'm gonna do two. I'm gonna do two rhinos. Two rhinos? Slow. But they're coming at he's coming at us. So let me let me like send you a link. Animals. <laughs> Jumanji! <laughs> um I will send you a link, Mark. Uh don't worry about it. I have it up now. Okay, okay. Um and I'm just gonna tell them to charge towards the dragon as it's coming to us. Cause you said it's practically touching the ground, the dragon, right? Yep. Okay, and I'm gonna have them attack. All right, uh, they are within range, so if they, if you want to roll for their attacks, go right ahead. So the, they, let's have a look. Charge. If the rhino moves at least 20 feet straight forward at a target and then hits it with a gore attack on the same turn, the mm -hmm. target takes an extra nine parentheses two d8 bludgeoning damage. If the target is a creature, it must succeed on a DC 15 strength throw or be knocked prone. Okay. Um, so this is, I mean, we'll see. Um, and then the gore is um, plus seven to hit. So. All right. Ooh, okay. Go ahead. And I get two of, I get two of them. So. Yep. Go I don't think it. you're knocking it prone, but this could be some good early damage. That's a 16 plus seven. So that's uh, 20, 23. It hits. Okay. Um, sure? And it is, has it, has it gone 20 feet forward? Yeah, there there was at least twenty feet of space between the uh, the rhino and the dragon. Okay, so it takes two d eight plus five, and so four d eight plus five it takes. And yeah. if you do a DC fifteen 
strength. It could be not pro. Okay. But it's it's gonna pass with flying. Yeah, colors. seventeen plus six is a twenty-three. <laughs> it's only plus six. Oh, holy shit! You might actually do this. Right. I thought I had a higher one. strength. Uh, two. That's nine. That's seventeen. That's twenty-one. Plus five. That's twenty-six damage for one of them. Okay. These rhinos yeah. going to charge. I guess there was something I could do, guys. Yeah, uh, second okay. rhino. God, I don't rhino know what I can do. Plus uh, 8d8 plus 10. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, second rhino. That is where you're going. That's a 15 plus 7. That's a 22. That also hits. Yeah! <laughs> oh, I okay, don't know what I can um, do. 8d8 plus 10. Uh, and then 4d8 again. Two. That's eight. That's fifteen. That is fifteen plus eight. That is twenty-three plus five. That's twenty-eight damage. And then you got to do a so saving throw. Twenty-eight damage, and then you got to do a a, a uh, DC oh, fifteen strength saving throw. Uh, fourteen sad. plus six, so twenty. So it's not affected. Yeah. <laughs> However, <laughs> after being hit by the rhinos, it's gonna use one of its three legendary actions and make a wing attack. Um, so the two rhinos have to succeed a DC nineteen Dex saving throw. Um, oh. Wait, wait. Did my did I proc Sentinel and did it hit? No, it missed. Never mind, never mind. You Ignore did, me. Yeah, it okay. So uh, have the rhinos roll a dexterity saving throw. DC 19. You said 19, so my dex is a negative one. Yeah. So I have to get <laughs> that 20s for these oh, to survive. Yeah. <laughs> They've done their job. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Three. That one just flies. <laughs> 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 and a nine <laughs> that one also yeah. fly yeah well they don't fly but they're they're knocked prone onto their backs and bro uh bro uh both of them take three six uh 12 points of damage 12 points each well they've got 45 so do you want me to write that down or are you doing that uh, i got their hp don't worry about it okay that's not too bad. Yep. But and then uh, the wing cool. attack also allows the dragon to fly upwards half its speed. So now it's uh, 40 feet in the air. Okay. Um, Shit. I guess that's my turn over. All right. Uh, Dan, that is you, my friend. Shit, that invalidated like everything I was planning to do. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> As if I took nearly, like, what, 50 damage off it just for the two rhinos? That's good. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's really good. It, this thing's got to be, like, nearly dead at this point. Holy shit. Uh, it's been a dragon. <laughs> I don't know. Yes, but each round, we've done, like, each yeah, one of our turns um, has been, like, 50-some damage. It's relatively close. Yeah, we've been oh, we've been yeah. bullying this thing. Steve did, like, 50 damage. I did, like, 50-some. You just did 50. This thing's been beaten down. Good, um, good. I guess I'm just going to sprint to the group and ready an attack for whenever it gets close. Because I don't know okay. I can do. Uh, so, Steve, that would be you, my friend. I can I jump as a halfling? <laughs> 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 Two hmm. feet. <laughs> how tall, we all how tall is your character? <laughs> he is... Hang on a second. <laughs> Very. <laughs> Three foot one. And what's your what's your strength? <laughs> My strength is nineteen. Okay, you can you can do uh, half your height rounded up. <laughs> so you might as well not bother. Okay. So Mark, I'm gonna ask for a DM call here. Yeah. Can I change what I just did instead of readying my attack? Can I throw Ste at the dragon? I will allow that. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just gonna Eric, you up? <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, Dan, firstly, strength roll. Go. This isn't gonna work, Steve. You're just gonna be falling. <laughs> just gonna slap me into the, like the belly of the dragon, just like. 
No, I'm pretty sure you're just not gonna make it and then fall back down like 20 feet and get hurt. <laughs> yeah. What'd you oh, roll? What did you do? What did you do? Oh, we know what I rolled. We all know what I rolled. <laughs> oh, no. Did you roll a nat one? You bet I did. Oh, <laughs> oh all right. All right. Here we go with the here we go with the percentiles. Here we go. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. Oh my cheeks. Oh no. <laughs> they hurt. I trusted you. Steve, oh, man. Steve, make a Oh god. What's what's your monk level right now? It's 11. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, Steve, make a DC 16 de dexterity saving throw. <laughs> Please. Please. <laughs> Guys, right. <laughs> he nat 20 He nat 20 <laughs> Okay. It's, it's, it's a natural 20? <laughs> okay. All right. That could have been bad. Okay. So, uh, what's your... Dan, what's your unarmed strike damage? What's the hit, What's the die for it? Uh, uh, eight. Okay. Okay. D8. All right. Stee, you're going to take three damage after... Narrowly avoiding getting face planted to the ground by your friend. <laughs> Please tell me what was going to happen. Was he about to land in the dragon's? He oh. was. No, no, no. He was going to land headfirst on the ground and possibly snap his neck. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a seven on the percentile I, roll. The golden, the golden d twenty. Oh my god! I almost <laughs> killed Steve. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The meme of the that when he's that like nat that twenty that. literally <laughs> saved Eric's life. Oh my god! Wow. Oh my god! <laughs> wow! Holy all right, shit. And as like also so another lucky. consequence, Steve, you have to spend your one of your attack actions getting back up off the ground. <laughs> Fine. Oh my god! <laughs> all right, so Steve, is your move. So, in one day, I have two level five spells. So I'm going to use my other level five spell as a six and do again um, Cloud of Daggers. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so I get up, brush myself off and go. <laughs> Die! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> For a second, I had this image of you, like, throwing me up in the air. And the dragon just going, hand in his head. What the fuck? Head in his hand. I was like, holy shit, he's dead. He's gonna be eaten. <laughs> what a combat sequence this has been, man. Yeah, this has yeah, been amazing. amazing. Wait, I absolutely, my turn. absolutely love this. Holy just shit. Just you wait until it's my turn, guys. I don't think no idea what I'm I think this might oh, do it. So I think, I think I, Steve's I about to I completely apologize. I forgot the order. Uh, after Dan's failed attempt at throwing Steve, it goes to Luke, not Steve first. So I apologize. No, oh, okay. So just you wait, guys. Luke, it, it's your go. Okay. So, um, at level 10, Drew, it's going to transform. Wait, no, no, no. Element. Isn't Luke faster than me in this? Uh... I thought it was Dragon Luke. Sorry. Oh my god. I'm just. Old John? Right? Oh, but yeah, I just did the rhinos. Yeah, you just did the rhino. Yeah. yeah, I. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Ignore yeah, me. Yeah. I'm fucking tired. <laughs> I've been working today, boys. <laughs> All right. So, Steve, it actually is your turn. I. Wow. I've slapped. That is uh, 23 again. 23 for the Cloud of Daggers. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. And that was your one attack action that you can't take. Uh, you still have your aerial mental, though. I do. So, I'm just looking him up on... Oh, right, wait. Why did I think... Yeah, Old John's the fastest right now. I'm stupid. It's uh, a Ginny, isn't it? Like, uh, the wind elemental. DJ yeah. I double N I. Like, Digent. Yeah. So... <laughs> digit. The Digit. <laughs> the Digent. <laughs> Dude, working at Guitar Center, I have heard the word gent so many fucking times in my life. But does it gent? <laughs> oh my god. 
Fucking <laughs> moving on. There we go. So any uh, air elements the there. the Ginny can do apparently three scimitar attacks. Yeah. I uh, might not get my go. Scimitar melee yeah. weapon attack is plus nine to hit. Uh, wow. On target, hit twelve. Two d six plus five slashing damage plus one d six lightning or thunder damage. Okay. And this thing is only now making its way into the party? Yeah. I, I, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I apologize. All right, so what'd you, what'd you get for the first attack roll? First attack is a nine plus nine, so 18. Uh, does not hit. Oh, oh shit. Nine again. Does damn not it. hit. 22. That does hit. Ooh. Okay, okay, so. All right. It is 2d6 plus 5 for the slashing damage, which is 12 damage. Yep. 12 damage? <laughs> 12 slash, yep. Okay. And then 1d6 of lightning damage. I'll, thunder, I'll do thunder damage. Okay. And that's 2. Okay. <clears throat> All right. And that's it for that round of combat and we are going to go into old john who i don't think can do anything else at this point um actually uh he is going to use uh the misty step spell once again and just disappear from sight oh my god all right and now the dragon uh he ain't doing oh, so, the dragon ain't doing so hot <laughs> so what's gonna happen is he's going to dive almost right at you guys and instead plunges deep into the marsh next to you and disappears from sight. No. How close does he get to me? Uh, he, not not very close. He's gonna... He's, not close enough. Yeah, he's gonna fly uh, about 40 feet offshore and just dive straight into the water. And then it goes to Luke. Okay. Um... So I didn't realize this, but when you reach 10th level, your wild shape, you can actually transform into elemental wild shape. Nice. Um, and I'm going to transform into an earth elemental. Ooh. Which is a <laughs> thick boy. It's massive. All right. Um, do you want me to send you a link? Here? If you want the page on the on the um, monster manual, it's uh, 124. This guy's a thick boy, and guess what? Is not just not just damage resistant, but damage immunity is poison. Okay. So. Oh. This isn't poison though. This is acid. Oh no, it's not acid, poison. isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. It doesn't really matter then. That'll be useful for later on, though. Yeah, I guess it will. None of the other ones are acid, so I didn't miss out on that. Okay. Um, <laughs> and I guess so. Would you consider the marsh a object or a structure? Nah, no, it's a it's a place. Like, no. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Because I got basically one of the traits is siege monster, where I can deal damage to objects or basically I'd slam on the floor and see what the hell's going on down there. Um, no, he wouldn't be able to do that here. But I guess I just transform and wait. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Dan, that's on you now. I'll tell you what I do. I'll tell you oh. what I do. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. My obviously elemental is very large. Um, I'm basically going to kind of stand around right in smack bang in the middle of the guys to try and protect them as best I can because I'm just a giant rock. Yeah. That's all I am. A giant rock. So I'm right in the middle of everyone now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Go on, Dan. If I ready an attack, can I also take a bonus action? Yes. All right, I am going to ready an attack. Mm -hmm. 
for as soon as that thing gets near us, um, within my striking range, uh, uh, and yeah. I am then... Did you fuck up? I, there's another trait I could have used that I didn't... Oh, fuck, <laughs> never mind, Dan. For fuck's <laughs> sake. I am going to spend a key point uh, to take the dodge action. Okay. Sounds good. I'm ready to attack, and then I'm just going to zoop out of the way. All right. Steve. Um. Hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I so we we can't see him. He's he's under the water. Right. I might use this opportunity to. Damn it! I can go underground. Oh, you could have chased him. I can go underground. Well, he's underwater, right? Like. Yeah. Smash. Sure, like, oh, we were on a path. I could have gone underground in the path and looked around at the leads. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it's fine. Whatever. But you really want your head sticking through the ground as a black dragon's charging towards it. Right, right, right. <laughs> it don't sound too good. That's true. Two. I haven't really got anything that I can do at the moment. I'm just gonna prep. Yeah, prep. I might actually. Yeah, I've got I've got six potions of healing, so I might as well take this time to at least give myself a bit of a, a heads up too. So. All right. Uh, one d eight. Okay. And that is a. Oh, fucking hell. What do you call it when it's fingered? It's sat on the side. Oh, yeah. Nice, two damn, two, uh, two HP. So, <laughs> Constitution modifier. We're entering into a round of combat. Oh. So, yeah, so um, Old John, not knowing where he is, he is also going to just prepare an attack. The dragon emerges from the water 40 feet away from you guys, near another plot of land on the other side to your left. And it has recharged its acid breath. Lovely. And sprays at you boys. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, how does this work with dodge? It gives me advantage on... Oh, no, we have advantage on deck saves anyway. Yes. So all of you need to make dexterity saving throws. <laughs> well, except for Luke. He's... Actually, no, you're... Yeah, yeah, you're, like, right there. You're standing right there. Yeah, I'm still right there, yeah. Yeah. My first roll is a 26, so I, yeah, Ooh, I save. That Ooh. is a 19. But wait, 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 wait. You have 21. advantage, so you get two rolls. Oh. Yeah, so even if you rolled good, roll again, yeah. you might get the net. Yeah. Yeah. So what? what so that's what, an 18, because I'm, I'm negative one. An 18. Uh, okay. Uh, and then, uh, Dan? Uh, 26. Okay. And then, Steve? 21. Okay, so Luke's the only one that fails the saving throw. That's a really high save. Holy yeah. Fuck. So <laughs> here we go, Luke. I'm gonna do some damage rolls for you real quick. Uh, Luckily, my my HP went nearly doubled, becoming an Earth yeah. Elemental. So that's. Oh good. yeah, wait. <laughs> I forgot you're an Earth Elemental. <laughs> I went nothing. from my current state of 69, nice, um, <laughs> HP, <laughs> to 126. Oh, you're. This is breakfast. You're eating this all day. Sixty-four damage, and the right. and the boys that saved you take half that. I don't take any. Oh yeah. <laughs> all right. Okay. After the dragon unleashes its breath, you see a slight little glimmer of a sword behind the dragon on the land across. <laughs> Um, old John makes There's an attack no of opportunity <laughs> on the back of the dragon. So that's advantage roll. Uh, so duh, would a 13 plus your stuff hit? Uh, 13 plus 5 is 18 plus proficiency, which is... Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. He definitely hits, uh, which means that is... 
he's really gonna nothing personnel kid this guy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> he's actually gonna do it. Yep. Uh, so the dragon's gonna take nine, ten, eleven damage from the from the sword itself, and then two d six of it must be ne close now. Necrotic damage. This might be we'll it. See. This might be. Yeah. We'll see. I gotta. I got. If not. I'm gonna run up and kill the hell out of this thing. It's dead. Oh my god. <laughs> the necrotic damage is enough. Elemental. The necrotic okay, damage that's... is enough. Holy shit. Alright. Let... The dragon I lets out one it. last bellow and reaches a ring towards where you know its egg is and then drops dead. We warned oh, you. Yeah. <sighs> Alright. Um, I'm gonna pick them all up. I'm going to stay as an Earth Elemental right now. Okay. Pick them all up and take them towards that sword because I want to know what it is and I want to see what that dragon's got. All right. No, it was, it was old John. Yeah. The, the glimmer of the sword was him because he was invisible. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, yeah. he, he used Misty yeah, Step. So, but we need to go uh, to the dragon anyway. We need to go to the dragon all right. anyway. Um, what's your speed as an Earth Elemental? Five. It's... Um, 30 foot speed and 30 foot burrow. All right. That's, that's a lot faster well, than I thought. <laughs> uh, I'm are big. you sure you want to head towards where the dragon is? Because that's through the water and it gets pretty damn deep. How deep? Uh, enough to conceal <laughs> an entire dragon. Oh, the dragon's under the water. It was under the water. Well, no, it's, now it's, it's just floating. Yeah, there. It, it's across. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to just, you boys stay here for a second. I'm gonna run because yeah. monk shit. I'm gonna run right up onto the dragon and uh, check out its body, see if there's anything of value. Uh, <laughs> the dragon itself is naked. <laughs> there's nothing on it whatsoever. Okay, is, uh, can I pull like scales off of it? Anything like that? Strength check. Anything that I can loot from the body. Strength check. Strength check. Yep. Keep roll. Keep rolling them. Uh, DC fourteen. All right. First one's a nineteen. Okay. Roll it again. Uh, 14. Roll again. Uh, 17. Roll again. Uh, 11. All right, you get three scales. Awesome. How big are the scales? Uh, dinner plate size. Okay. I'm going to shout as well. Get me a tooth. I want to make a necklace out of that. <laughs> right. All and right. I guess I'm going to try to pull some teeth too. All right, DC strength check this time. It's going to be 17. 12. All right, you do not get, you do not get a two. Sorry. However, it's fine. <laughs> um, you take a d6 of acid damage. <gasps> Bitch. Okay, oh, okay. Uh, it's just a sorry. one. You, you take one acid damage. <laughs> one acid damage. I guess That's I transform I back into me. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, so I'm going to head back. Well... That's that dealt with. I never wanted to encounter one of those fucking things. Happy it's done with. Uh, we're going to have to do something about the egg. We can't just ignore its existence. Just yeah. anyone? We cannot, we cannot kill this egg. We okay. need to leave well, the egg in the water and let nature take its course. But I've not had second breakfast. Yeah, and then it that is nature is going to come and kill us. We will be gone by the time this egg hatches. We will... Have our, we will find our, find our mission, complete it, and be out of here before that egg. Uh, do I know much about dragon eggs as someone who's been in the wild a lot? Uh, yes, you would, being a druid. Do I, can I tell if it's like a relatively new egg and if it's far from hatching or anything like that? Um, it's, for, for a dragon egg, I'd say it's relatively close to hatching within like the next five years. Yeah. Would I know if that thing is going to be able to hunt us down because of the scent? Um, it wouldn't have your scent. Um, and depending how long it takes to hatch, like your scent would disappear pretty quickly in a marsh. Okay. okay. Like yeah, your, your scent would probably be gone within like a day. So there's like yeah. almost zero chance that this egg hatches within a day. Um, yeah, this, I could take the yeah, I gotta to roll. <laughs> All right, we well, let's get the hell out of here then. Um, I agree. In the meantime, John, I was able to scavenge these three. 
uh, scales. Do you know if you can craft anything out of it? Weapons, armory, uh, I arrows, could, anything? I could enhance somebody's armor with these. That sounds good. How many have you got? Uh, three. Uh, three dinner plate size. Um, would you be able to craft anything uh, that's as l light as possible, but give me somewhat protection? I don't normally wear armor. But just something to maybe well, the protect. The dragon sails themselves are pretty light, so. Um, okay, so, out of uh, out of character, yeah. uh, would he be able to craft something that could boost my armor without infringing on the whole unarmored trait? You're a dragon ball. so you just wearing the, true. you're wearing the skin of your own kind. <laughs> Fuck black dragons. I'll have to look into that, Dan. I'm not sure. I okay. I don't know if you'd be able to to wear it. Um, you know, yeah, I'm not even worried at that point. Um, yeah, let's. Uh, if you're able to, if you can enhance one of these boys' armors, that'd be greatly appreciated. All right. I can do that while we rest for the night. I think Sounds we fantastic. should. I don't think we should rest here. <laughs> I think we should rest somewhere in maybe yeah. the, the, the wooded area. Yep. That the wooded area nearby. That actually sounds perfect. Uh, so yeah, you guys make your way to the wooded area. It's a little drier uh, than the rest of the marsh. It's dry enough that you guys could probably find a place to, to set up camp and not worry about staying wet all night. And uh, sounds good. We're gonna call that adventure good because I have another stream starting in twelve minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, right. we just killed a black dragon. You did. Uh, we and didn't just kill it. We bullied the hell out of it. You guys just yeah. earned 11,500 experience, which put you to a grand total of 100,725 experience plus the 200 for the session. So 100,925, which means you are officially 12th level. Oh, my. <laughs> and also with it being 12th level you guys get another ability score increase so you can choose two ability scores to go up by one or one ability score to go up by two and just remember you cannot surpass a 20 in an ability score I've maxed out my wisdom. Nice. Nice. All right. And that's it's a plus five. That. And then what's the level of the HP again? Uh, it's your hit dice, which for you is a D8 plus your constitution modifier, or you can take uh, that rounded up. So you could just take an automatic five plus your constitution modifier. I'm going to roll D8 plus constitution. Okay. Uh, that's a six. All right, so next time you guys will uh, probably get to exit the moors. Um, yeah, I'm done with this place. You'll have to choose <laughs> a fork in the road, though, at the at the beginning of next time. So I'm curious to see Ooh. which way you guys are going to go. But that is for next time. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. As always, it is a blast recording this every week. One of my favorite things to do. Don't forget to check out all the normal stuff we say at the end of the video. So all of our social medias, our Discord server, which is booming right now, by the way. So definitely go check out the Discord. Uh, and then our Twitch streams, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And now my new second Friday stream at 9 p.m. for Pokemon Nuzlocke. So if you guys are interested in Pokemon. And Sunday. And that's right. We have a, a special stream coming up. Uh, oh, our normal Sunday streams, actually. But we're going to start doing a community streams, uh, I think, most Sundays now. Um, that started with Rocket League last week. I'm not sure what we're doing this week, but we will get that figured out. It, no, it's Rocket League this week. I know, but this goes up next Friday. You right. I'm stupid. <laughs> yes, Dan, <laughs> you dumb. All right. Thank you guys again so much for watching. And until next time, this is Mark, Steve, Dan, and Luke signing off. We'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.